Now, variables are by far the most important part when it comes to Discord bot maker actions, because what they do is they allow you to take one thing that you make in an action and reference it in a different action. This can be done in the context of the command, the server, or all the bot entirely. So let's get straight into things. First, to start off, let's talk about the three different types of variables, which are gonna be temporary variables or temp variables, server variables, and global variables. Temp variables only exist in the context of the command. So say, for example, I create a variable in our test command, and once the test command is over, that variable no longer exists. If I say, I don't know, use a test command again, or use a different command, we will not have access to that temp variable. Server variables, on the other hand, will be accessible throughout all the server. So if I use this test command and I create a server variable, then that server variable can be accessed from other commands using that server, or the same command that if it's used in the server, of course. Now the final type is global, which as you can imagine, makes it so the variable is accessible throughout any means, as long as the bot is active. Which is the most important part about variables, which is the fact that variables are not saved. So if you turn off your bot and turn it back on, you will not have access to any previous variables that were created during previous runs of the bot, as they are typically meant for just data transfer or data referencing during the runtime of the bot itself. Anyway, enough talking about variables, let's actually use them. So to start, we'll take our test command and make so we'll create a channel. So what we'll do is go to right here, channel control. We'll go to create a text channel. We'll call this text channel to be uh, test one. And we'll just set it so everything else is blank. Now, as you notice right here, we have the store in function right here, which allows us to store the created text channel into a variable. So we'll set it so this thing is going to be stored into a temporary variable. And we'll set that variable's name to be, I guess, just channel like that. So what's going to happen is we'll create a text channel on our server. It'll be called test one. And then a reference to this channel will be stored in a temporary variable called channel right here. So let's copy this in order to remember it. Now we'll go and hit create action. Now in a second action, we'll set it so we'll send a message to our new channel. So we'll say this is the, wait, the new channel. Oh man, there we go. And so now what we'll do is we'll say right here where it says send to, we'll send it to a temporary variable. So we'll go down to temp variable, insert the name of our variable, which was a temp variable, and it was called channel. And now what will happen is it'll go find our temporary variable called channel, see it's a text channel and send this message to that text channel. So it create action and we should be good to go. We'll go to file and hit save like that. And then of course, run the project just like that. And then we'll open discord right here, see the bot is online and then call our test command right here. So let's remember what's gonna happen. It's gonna create a new text channel, then send a message into it. So let's go. So once we call test, as you can see, our new test one channel will appear right here and it'll send a new message saying, this is the new channel, just as we expected. So there we go. That's all it takes to use variables. Simply store it into one, then use it in another. Another good example of variables is using them to find information. So let's go back to our Discord and create three channels. We'll create one called test two and create another one called test three just like that. Now let's say, for example, we'll make sure our bot specifically sends a message to test two. So what we'll do is go to our Discord bot maker like this. We'll first delete this create text channel and instead replace it with a new action called, where is it? Channel control, find channel. So what this does is it finds a specific channel based on its ID, name, or topic. So we're gonna to wanna to search for a channel based on its name, that name being test two, then store it into a temporary variable called, once again, channel. We'll then place this on top of the send message so it occurs first, then this will find the channel, and then this will send the message into the channel. So we'll edit this to say, this is the test two channel, just like that. We'll edit the action, once again, save the project, then run the project just like this. And now we'll go back into our Discord right here. And when we call the command, exclamation point test, as you can see, it sends a message into the test two channel, just like that. Let's do one final example. Let's delete all these actions and create a new action. This action being the, let's see, create embed message. So what this will do is allow us to create an embed message, but it won't send it until we're done working on it. So we'll go and give it a title such as, <laughs> oh God, we'll just call it test. Test, we'll just let's set the URL to be something like, I don't know, www.google.com, 
color we'll make it like green or something so 00 ff 00 and we'll just leave the rest of this blank and then of course we'll store this embed message into a i guess we'll say server variable and we'll call this server variable call um just embed just like that and we'll create that action now that we have a server variable with the embed message we can then reference it in a different command so we'll create a second command called send embed just like that and we'll have it so that this message or this command will have it so we'll find our um embed message and send it so we'll go to a uh, where is it here it is send embed message we're going to find the server variable called embed just like that and send it to the same channel that we use the command so we'll create that action and then of course save our project and run the project just like this so first things first we'll call the send embed command so we'll do exclamation point send embed but nothing will happen because we haven't created the embed object yet so we'll go to test and first call the test command so we'll go down right here we'll do uh we'll go to general we'll do actually we'll go to test one we'll do exclamation point test and that will create the embed object then we'll use the send embed command again like that and there we go <laughs> our embed object is just is just chilling out there now, very quickly, if you want to add it, like a description to this embed message, you simply do um, go to messaging. We'll go to where is it? Set embed description. We'll set it so a server variable called embed has a description set to this is a description just like that. Create the action, save the project, run the project. And now, of course, when we run this thing, it'll have the stuff happen to it. So, yeah, there we go. Test and then send in bed just like that and that's all for this video hope you enjoyed and look forward to the next tutorial where we do something else i don't even know what it is but i'm sure it'll be exciting